And to discuss this further, I'm joined by Saadet Oruç from Ankara. She's a senior advisor to the Turkish President Erdogan. Thank you for joining us, Saadet. As far as you're concerned, sitting in Ankara, how is the operation in Afrin unfolding? Yes, it's now the fourth day of the operation, and it's a very successful uh, operation of Turkish army against the presence of PKK and PYD terrorists in northern parts of Syria. So it seems that the uh, goals of the operation will be reached step by step. And uh, despite our martyrs, three martyrs uh, following the operation, which were attacked by the PYD PKK members, uh, we, have, we have been observing a success in the ground and uh, Turkey will continue the operation until the, um, until the final goal will be achieved, which is the uh, cleaning of the territory from terrorists to secure the Turkish border and to bring stability and welfare to the people living in this city. Let's pull back a bit and talk about global reactions, especially from the United States. Now, we've seen the U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson say that we're in discussions with the Turks and some of the forces on the ground, as well as uh, how to uh, stabilize the situation and meet Turkey's legitimate concerns for their security. On the other side, you have James Mattis, the U.S. Defense Secretary, saying that Turkey is a NATO ally. It's the only NATO country with an active insurgency inside its borders, referring to the PKK, and Turkey has legitimate security concerns. But on the other side, the flip side of this is coming from the White House, where Sarah Sanders, the White House press secretary, says we urge Turkey to exercise restraint in its military actions and rhetorics. There seem to be mixed messages coming as far as the public is concerned from the U.S. Are you getting these mixed messages as well in Ankara, Sadat? Yes, last week we have observed uh, just before the uh, before the start of the operation, we have seen more mixed messages, in fact, from Washington. And the following the statement by Ryan Dillon, the spokesman of the International Coalition against Daesh, who stated that an army will be established from the PYD members consisting of uh, 30,000. Uh, PYD terrorists, of course, according to uh, according to the United States statement, we have observed a very following that statement. We have observed very mixed uh, messages. In fact, they just uh, I think they played with the words. And uh, this week also uh, there are mixed messages. But I think Rex Tillerson, uh, U.S. Secretary of State, he gave very logical answers uh, concerning the will of Turkey to build a secure zone in the area and he stated that the United States might work with Turkey on this issue also. Uh, Pentagon, White House and State Department, they give, they've been giving mixed channels. I think there is a lack of consensus perhaps in Washington and uh, if we uh, just think about the legitimate uh, defense of Turkey for its security, in fact there is no place for mixed messages and uh, if you just look at the situation, look at the ground, uh, I think there, is, there should be no discussion on the goal of the Turkish army for its operation in Afrin. And I think that in the final analysis, Washington, if they will start to, to think logically and uh, just if they will consider the realities of the ground, they will find the, uh, they will find the right, right answer concerning their mixed messages, I think. Well, this is your expectation that Washington will think logically when it comes to Turkey's offensive in Afrin. But is this, has this been communicated by President Trump to President Erdogan and vice versa? Look, Turkish position is very uh, clear. And all the uh, levels of Turkish state, from president to the army and to the government, uh, there is a one single position. But when it comes to the United States, we expect more stable and more logical position from Washington also. And I think that uh, President Trump will be more involved in the Afrin issue today 
following this uh, following his conversation conversation with president erdogan so that's one side of it but there's an other significant side to this as well the russian side and we saw president erdogan speak to russian president vladimir putin on tuesday what was the discussion there like and russia's role can you also amplify what russian assistance and acquiescence has meant to turkey's stated position and the operation in afrin uh, russia Uh, considers Turkey's uh, sensibilities uh, in a in a stronger way than the position of the United States. So uh, the discussion between President Putin and President Erdogan was something very positive. Then they took the uh, considerations of each take in each side into account. I think. And finally, what about Turkey's position on Bashar al-Assad specifically? Will Ankara be okay if? Uh, Syrian regime forces take over Afrin from the YPG. Uh, you know, Turkey respects to the territorial integrity of Syria. Here, there is a position of Turkey to clean the sea from terrorists, and Syrian regime failed to take the control of these seas. Sadat Uruç, thank you for joining us from Ankara.